her mother and father, and her sister, Princess Margaret. While watching and listening to proceedings set with the ear, I'm sorry to be sad with your historian and our royal correspondent, Laura Bundock. And Sir Anthony, as we watch these departure scenes, just share with us what we've seen in that chapel, first of all, this afternoon. The full stop to the end of Her Majesty's reign. There was something, wasn't there, when the coffin was lowered into the ground, but the whole service, it was more personal than in the Westminster Abbey. Um, it was more silent, it uh, had a, a, a new dimension, uh, and it was profoundly moving. It, it, it was people who know her well, who worked with her, who she loved, and the they Duke loved her. Sussex there. They loved her. Look, look at the somber face. You felt that on the king as well. You, you felt the, the full weight of the state on his shoulders. And it was that sense of finality, wasn't it, Sir Anthony, when we saw that ceremonial, the removing the symbols of monarchy from the coffin that had travelled atop it all day, the crown second, the board, crown jeweller removing them, then the breaking of the staff, the, the wand of office by the 